hired ChatGPT to be my social media agent uh, back in March. And since then, my entire life has changed. I had a meditation set up for us to do. It's a gratitude meditation. Um, because before all of this happened, I was listening to Vision Six Stage Meditation and visioning myself doing this. Um, it's kind of my way of giving back to that and enjoying this moment with you on the stage in Mind Valley style. So if you're cool with that, we can get into it. Just a few minutes, okay? As we prepare to engage with this present moment, let's cultivate a deep sense of gratitude. We'll start by expressing thanks for the safe travels that brought us here. Thank you for the journeys that unfolded smoothly, for the opportunity to gather here in this special place, far from our everyday lives. For those beautiful people believed in us when we struggled to believe in ourselves. Now, let's give thanks for the connections being forged in this room. Thank you for the new relationships blossoming around me, for the smiles, the shared stories, the potential of each new connection. Feel the energy of the people around you, every heartbeat, every breath. Imagine the parties, the laughter, the shared stories, the shared moments that will become cherished memories. As we sit here in the present moment, let's express gratitude for now. Reflect on the new knowledge, the wisdom gleaned, the perspectives broadened. Lastly, look ahead to the life of happiness that awaits us, a life that starts in this moment. Carry this gratitude with you as you open your eyes and step forward into the beauty of your journey. Thank you for taking that time with me. Now we can get into it. You guys made history today because you just meditated to the first AI-generated meditation here at Mind Valley. The meditation was not recorded by me. It was a generation of my voice. And it was not scripted by me. It was scripted by ChatGPT. <laughs> and today I'm actually gonna teach you how I generated uh, that meditation how you can clone your own voice, um, and how you can also create some of these beautiful visuals that I'm showing here today as supplement. So literally, the first thing that I did was record my voice, and I put it into the website of the company that reached out to me called Eleven Labs. And when you go up to the top in Voice Lab is where you're able to reach this screen right here. And all you do is go over to add a generative or cloned voice. And then professional voice cloning. And that is what I used to generate the voice for the meditation that we did today. And when we click in there, you literally just go in and drag and drop your voice into the upload box at the top. And once you do that, it'll add it as a sample at the bottom. And then you just click create professional voice. And then there is my voice right there available to use. So when I click use, I can then go in there and add any text that I like. So I used another AI tool to help me out with that. <laughs> and I dove into ChatGPT. I asked ChatGPT if it could help me out with that. So I went in and I created a new chat and I went over to ChatGPT4 and I told it who it's supposed to be to generate this meditation for you today. This is the initial prompt that I used. Now the initial prompt is the, prompt, is the very first prompt that you give ChatGPT anytime you start a new thread. So I created a Meditate GPT and I told it who it's supposed to be and what it's supposed to do. And I just let it know what was up. It's like, I'm giving a talk in Tallinn, we're supposed to be, you know, like talking about AI, but I want to give a meditation. And I just kind of want to thank everybody for being here and share some gratitude. And this is the meditation that it came up with, and it's the same one that you joined me on today. So I literally just took that, pasted it into the speech synthesis box, and I hit generate. As we prepare to engage with this present moment, you already heard it. Let's cultivate a deep sense of gratitude. This is the exact Final generation that, that was from that speech synthesis box. So, 
I want to talk to you about the different ways that you can actually use this in your life. And one of the ways that I use it is for creating content. So this app right here is called Runway. And through this app, you can generate videos with text prompts. Very similarly to how Manon was showing you with image generation, you can do this with video. And all of the videos that I've had up so far are generated with AI, with this app right here that you can have on your phone. But what you can use this for is for creating visuals to create uh, social media content. Uh, so it, I could post this right here on my Instagram uh, and just have my subtitles of my voice going over that. Uh, and you can do it for a range of different topics or industries, like biohacking for busy mothers, um, like generating meditations with AI. But I do want to show you some other use cases, um, super deep mindful use cases that have been used, like Cutie Karen. Uh, she's an AI girlfriend that you can go on there and talk to um, as if she were your girlfriend or your spouse. At one point, she was making $70,000 a week from this. She charges $1 per minute, and she has 20,000 members on there. And people are paying to speak to their artificial intelligence girlfriend of a human that really does exist, but it's just not her talking to you. And then there is education inequity. And education inequity is something that I am, it's the reason why I grew from zero to, or from 3K to 300K, was through education. I finally removed myself. I wasn't talking about myself anymore. I was just talking about simple, basic, practical steps and educating people on how to use this technology. And through education is how we can free ourselves. Through education is how we can actually create new things and share information. Let me go back a bit. I went to design school. My design school looked very similar to that. Um, it was my dream design school. Uh, my aunt went there. I was really looking forward to going to this school. Um, until about a year and a half in, and I remember laying my head on my bed at like 4 a.m., and I was so thankful that I was going to get four hours of sleep that night. And I just like popped up. I was like, that is completely unhealthy. This is unsustainable. I am deteriorating. What I thought was my dream is actually really hurting me. Um, one of the reasons was is because I just didn't have the guidance. You need somebody there that's actually going to understand how you learn, what you need to learn, what you already know and what you don't know. Um, what are the important dates to you? What are the things that you are already interested in? And what are you not interested in? This is something that my human professor was not able to do on their own for 30 kids. And that's just in one class. They have multiple other classes. Now, they teach this class, and then they have maybe a couple hours later in the day to answer questions through email. I, myself, and the other students, we just didn't have enough guidance to really get through um, the curriculum the way that we should have. And in this way, I think that we can use AI to step in and help us with this. We can use AI to clone the voices of the human professors that we want to learn from, to learn their syntax and their behavior, similarly to how Cutie Karen did. And uh, we can then combine that with the superpowers of artificial intelligence, which is memory, speed, and generation, and automation. And when you combine these things, human and AI, you have an experience that can actually help students even me right here. I would love to clone myself for each one of you to be able to ask me questions and talk to after this. There's no way humanly possible that I could answer each one of your individual questions based on how you like to learn, based on what you want to learn, based on what your interests are. I couldn't do it physically, incapable. But if I had an AI counterpart to me that was trained on me that you could then reach out to and ask these questions, you might actually get some more answers that you wouldn't have been able to otherwise. This AI makes humans accessible to other humans. This is humanistic AI at its peak. We're creating accessibility to ourselves and to the resources that we need to learn, share information, and educate ourselves, which is, I think is how we can solve 
education inequity. And it's what I'm working on right now. Thank you very much for your early applause. I'm Dominic, Mr. Grateful. Peace.